Antivirus profile is probably one of the default profile security profiles that you add to your policies. So let's create one and let's look at several important factors when configuring one. Coming up. All right, so let's start. Let's move to security profiles, antivirus. You know what, before that, the very first thing that um, you will need to know, uh, you probably do, is that whenever you set your antivirus profile, that is in 6.4 and in 7, uh, it depends on the uh, inspection mode. Now, if you choose flow-based inspection, you will only see profiles that were created using the flow-based features. If you use the proxy-based, you will also see other profiles that were created. Now, if you have encrypted traffic and you want to look out viruses, you will need to use the deep inspection. Uh, these days, um, just about most of the traffic is encrypted. So let's move to security profiles, antivirus, let's create a new sensor. Here we can see that when we choose proxy-based or flow-based, we see other um, features are, that are enabled, such as more protocols, such as the CDR, which is actually the content disarm and reconstruction is a way that FortiGate actually strips out objects that could be malicious in different files. That is, in Office files, PDF files, it strips out hyperlinks, it strips out uh, Java code, and so on. Now, the other things are actually self-explanatory. Uh, you can uh, include more signatures using the external malware block list. I have already done a video on that. Uh, you can use the FortiGout Outbreak Prevention Database, which is, I'm not sure if it is in the default licenses. Uh, you have to purchase it, I believe, individually. Those are more third-party signature database that are being curated by FortiGuard. All right, so we have enabled content disarm and reconstruction. Let's uh, let's name let's name our profile CDR. Okay, now let's move to the command line. And if we'll use the config antivirus profile, and let's edit the profile that we have just created, which is the CDR. We can use the config content disarm. And if you use the get command, you will see the different options here. Now, you can see that you can actually enable or disable macro scripts. So when an Office file comes with a macro script, will it be uh, uh, stripped from that uh, macro script or not? If a PDF file has a Java code, will it do so? If an Office file uses hyperlinks, do you want to strip uh, and paste the secure file that is without the hyperlink? So you can use that using the CDR option. Let's just abort it. And now let's uh, look at another thing, which is the settings. Now, here at the settings, again, you can do uh, many things. The first one is the machine learning detection. Now, this is a new feature. Um, I believe it was added in 7, but I'm not sure about it. Uh, this actually replaced the heuristic feature. In old versions, you could use the heuristic feature that looks at the code, looks at the behavior of the file. Now, this actually changes. So uh, the machine learning algorithm is actually being learned all the time um, um, by FortiGuard, and it is uh, being updated all the time. All right, let's look at, let's use the get so we can see other things that can be uh, chosen using the antivirus setting. 
Another thing that you can choose is the database. Now, currently I'm using the Extreme database, which is the full-blown signature database. Not all FortiGate are using the Extreme database. Not all FortiGate actually supports the Extreme. Uh, so you look, look and see if you can use a different databases. The bigger the database, it will influence performance. Another thing is grayware. Now, by default, it is enabled. You can disable it, but uh, my, but I believe that you should enable it. Now, graywares are not viruses by definition, but they can cause harm. Adware is a, a kind of a grayware. All right, now let's abort this. All right, now let's abort again. Another thing that uh, needs to be looked at is the different profile protocol options. Let's just um, create a new one and let's use the get to see the different options. Now here, when you choose different protocols to, that you want to inspect, you can choose uh, several options that are uh, quite important. The very first one is the oversized limit. Now, if you're using a proxy-based inspection mode, your FortiGate will actually wait for the whole file to be downloaded and then it will check it. Now, the oversized limit is 10 megabytes. In most cases, you do not need more than 10 megabytes, but if you need to change it, do so. Uh, it will uh, influence the performance. Um, most viruses will not come in files that are bigger than one mega or two mega byte, but uh, you can do so. Another thing is when you have compressed files using zip, again, the size limit is 10 mega, you can choose other. Another important one is that sometimes hackers will um, include viruses in a zipped uh, file in a compressed file and they will continue to compress it several times that is the nest limit so your 40 gate by default can uh, decompress the files 12 times again you can change that the last thing is the comfort interval when you work in a proxy based inspection your FortiGate gate waits for the file to be downloaded. Now, the client on the other side may think that there's an issue with the connection itself. So your FortiGate gate actually sends packets to relive the connection. So that is the interval that you can choose to uh, send the different packets.